on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Yes, yes, what is it? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? A problem? Let me see it. No, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Old Hrolden is the stone that the Empire's history is built on. Have a good rest. It's the big room with the double bed. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. If you drink too much, you're out. No drunks. Watch your tongue, stranger. We don't take back talk in this inn. Bye. There's a ghost just wandering around my inn like it owned the place. Until next. Shanti, is that you? I've been waiting. Do you remember me now, Yalti? You promised me, Yalti. You promised that when we sacked Folden, you would make me your sworn brother. And I've waited. Even after the enemy's arrows dug into my chest and their hammers crushed my bones, I've waited. Give me your sword, Yalti, that we may become brothers, as you promised.
my watch. I will leave it on. Stop right there. Then pay with your blood. and get some rest. I'll send word to the yard.
What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Imperial lies. First, you take away towers. I have think then you were well in. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will re preposterous. That research represents years of person. You must be mad to think I'd allow any very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Salvo called it in time. Said he needed every man to forget to protect his research. Better than the past. He lost three good men in the time. Just to see another damn spider playing around. Well, at least this post is safe enough. Come on.
accidents like this don't just happen. Someone is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. I... All right. If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. Order of the Ark. Stop right there. That can be arranged. You want the real fight? That can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> In. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. If there's anything you need... Back, eh? And how was our friend Caselmo? I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. 
I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about... the Nightingales? Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. <laughs> 